Hello there, I'm Helen Sattler, your Destiny Helper. Thank you so much for joining me once again here on this program, Destiny Helper. I am excited about coming before you. It is a joy and a privilege. Thank you so much for all the emails. You always come through. You always are filled with questions. And it's my joy and a privilege for me to at, uh, answer the questions that you have and thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed to my youtube channel thank you thank you thank you when you subscribe please push the bell every time i come on with a new program you will be alerted like and share the page because we are helpers one to another you will be amazed and other people that will read your comments that will when you share the page it may be just what they needed because a lot of people don't understand cluster b relationship or npd a lot of people are unaware that they're even dealing with a narcissist and they wonder why they can come to no avail they can come to no end it's a vicious cycle that continues so which bring us into our program uh, one young lady said that I am on the brink of breaking with my narcissist. What is wrong with me? I want to leave, but I can't. I'm on the brink of breaking. Please help me. Alrighty then, when you are with a narcissist, the narcissist, because of their personality disorder, creates a lot of different variables in your life. A narcissist treat you as they see themselves. And because they're not able to love, and I know they love bum you in the beginning. And if you notice on the program, a lot of people talk about the love bumming. It's almost impossible to attach any other uh, subject matter matter without the love bombing because the love bombing was the foundation of everything is what made them work is what made it is what took your interest is what caused you to be connected to the narcissist and that you were willing to give up everything including yourself and your mind has been tortured your emotions have been tortured your will has been tortured and you are saying but i'm losing it i'm losing what reality is to me because i feel like i'm losing my mind and some of you have even said that i have suicidal thoughts because i feel like without the narcissist without her i'm nothing without him i'm nothing i don't see myself doing anything without them that's because you need to change what you are seeing whatever your focal point that becomes what you envision and what you envision either give you hope or take away hope and wherever you spend your time is where you put your life and when you spend all of your time trying to please the narcissist running after the narcissist catering to the narcissist anytime you give a consistency of uh, of energy that is not valued that is unappreciative you expend that energy and with no replacement with no replenishing and you come to energy drain you can come to mental drain you come to mental drain where you are now very forgetful you have the keys in your hands looking at them and it doesn't register to you that the keys are in your hands you have been so deluded in who you are in life until nothing seems like it's within your grasp. You don't even have a desire to grasp it. You don't have a desire to go to school. And some of you are fighting because you have children and you find yourself being neglectful to the children because what you think about is what the narcissist is doing. Where is he right now? Who is he talking to? Who is she with right now? And so the narcissist take you to the end because the narcissist would gaslight you always accusational and the gas and they go silent they go into a silent mode the silent mode with a narcissist is pure torture because they are in the house and they won't say nothing you are trying everything you can to get a relationship with them you're trying everything you can to communicate with them they say nothing and the look in their eye as if they could kill you they look like they hate you they look like you matter less every day to them they look look at you as if you have no value 
They won't buy you anything. They won't buy you flowers. They won't do anything. They won't return your calls. And they may be your husband. They may be your wife. They don't return your calls. And when you come home, there's no hug. There's no greeting. They sit in the room and then they leave. And when you ask them where they're going, they never say anything. Some narcissists purposely get in the bed with you, knowing that you have a desire to be with them, knowing that you want them and they torture you. They walk around you as a husband or a wife and they allow you to see them undress and they don't touch you. You haven't been touched for months and they just make you crave them. And then just when you want to give up, they hit you. And this is a continuous cycle over and over. They turn family against you. The narcissist family, get they gaslight you. They defend the narcissist and you know they see them. You know they know that they are wrong, but they will defend the narcissist. They will keep giving you instructions on what you should do next to win the narcissist, to please the narcissist. And you find Everybody is trying to please the narcissist because narcissists, uh, people who are narcissists, they affect your mental health. They affect your emotional health. They affect your biological health. The health. They affect the chemistry in your body, the hormones in your body. They affect your future, your past. They affect your now because the way you used to see things is not the way you see things anymore. You, I'm on the brink and yet I can't leave. You have to make a decision to live. No one can do that for you. You have to make a decision to survive. No one can do that for you. And if you don't do that, that will not be done. And the narcissist will continue doing what they're going to do with or without you. And you have to get a restraining orders on your own emotions. And you have to timeline that emotion and bring those emotions in. Know that you deserve better. Know that there's a better treatment. Know that God has given you better. And when you know that there's value to you, you will stop tolerating different things. You tolerate things because now on the inside of you, you don't see your worth. You don't see your value. Now on the inside of you, you are thinking that you're bad. You're thinking that I can't please the narcissist. And you are totally, 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 totally saturated with thoughts on what can I do next. And it doesn't matter what you do next because everything you did fail and the narcissist literally laughs in your face because then the more effort you put toward that relationship the more they laugh because you know what the narcissist know I am an empty hole so no matter what you put in me it falls through that's why I don't keep my word I fall through I'm a liar I fail and then I'm a cheater I'm never faithful. I absorb everything you got and I give back nothing. And when I do give it back, I got a string on the end of it. I have an ulterior motive. I want you to introduce me to your friends because I will have your friends like I have you. I will have them without any conscience, without any problem. I will triangulate your family. I will triangulate your friends. If I know there's an enemy, I will triangulate the enemy and use them as a fly monkey against you. I will triangulate your friends. This is what the narcissists say. This is the voice of the narcissist. And the narcissist will tell you, why do you try? Just give up. Just quit. Most people who commit suicide, the, nar that the narcissist don't care. They just go to the next person and you are no longer here. So if you are thinking that I'm on the edge, I'm on I'm about to have a breakdown. If you know that, do something about it. Don't go through the process. Don't continue on the road that you're on. Come off that vein. Start building yourself up. Start doing something with your mind. You are located where your mind is. You are always where your mind is. If your mind say I'm defeated, you are in defeat. If your mind say I'm locked here and I'm stagnated, you're stagnated. But if your mind say I'm going to pursue life and I'm going to get up and I'm going to make 
it happen. Nothing can stop you. No narcissist. It doesn't matter how much you love them. Sometimes you can love someone and you have to do it anyway. You have to express yourself anyway. You have to accomplish anyway. And you let nothing stop you. Your goals belong to you. And you have to use them and exercise them. You can strengthen yourself every single day like you lost yourself every single day find yourself you find yourself through discovery just like you lost yourself in your mind you can find yourself in your mind your mind is a terrible thing to waste and the narcissist spend a lot of time with words in your head words in your head words give imagery imagery in your head give you ideologies and perspective and principles and when you start living that word in your head that is against you that's taking you to the edge some of you are so nervous I mean, a little sound go off. You almost jump out the chair, even if it's on carpet, because you are so used to the torture and the torment. You don't know what they expect. So you live on the edge of life all the time. You learn not to trust anybody because there's so many lies that have been told you you don't even know what the truth is anymore and you wonder how can they love me and tell me those lies easy they have to lie then they're going to tell you another one because to keep you there they have to lie to you the narcissist mistreat you but the narcissist don't want you to leave the narcissist always need a backup system backup fuel come on here he's like your savings account you use your checking account Account, but you save in your savings account and that is long term the narcissist want to be long term and so what he does or what she does is make sure that you are totally totally satisfied that you are totally totally pleased and that narcissist could care less about being pleasured about being pleased as long as they are satisfied your hope your dreams gone college gone money gone and you are totally disappearing. You're aging. They're getting younger. You're de-energizing. They're getting energy. You're disconnecting. They are connecting. Your work is suffering. Their work will not suffer. What you suffer with, the narcissist will not suffer with. Dreams do come true, but you have to make your dream come true. You have to give yourself to yourself. You have to give yourself to yourself and you have to stop saying what you can't do. Don't you have a mental breakdown? Because once you break down, the narcissist move on. He moves on and it's total fuel. You will make that narcissist look for someone else because they feel like they are powerful. They already feel like they're God. And if you are on the edge of a break, Think about it. The narcissist thinking they love me so much. They are willing to lose their mind over me. I am so awesome until they can't do without me. The narcissist and the narcissist get this mindset that makes them worse. And so once they know they are taking you to the edge, they go into a driving force because now the narcissist want two things. They want you over the edge and they want your life. They want suicide. Commit it, commit it, commit it, commit it, commit it. Because the, the suicide that you commit will give them a notch in their belt and that's the ultimate the ultimate win is to cause that person to take their life and to not care about their life i want you to be different i want you to care about your life god has blessed you to live to be to become and god gifted you with that and that's something you don't let anyone take you take away from you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's keep that in mind. I am Helen Sattler. I am your destiny helper.